Hello, and welcome to this lesson on component events in Svelte. In this video, we'll learn how to communicate from a child component up to its parent with component events. In the component props video, we learned that we can communicate from a parent component down to a child. Well, component events allow us to do the opposite and communicate from a child to its parent. The child component creates a dispatcher that sends an event. The parent listens for, then captures that event, and executes code when it triggers. To be able to send events, we need an event dispatcher. Svelte makes it easy to create one with the create event dispatcher function. We have to import the function from the Svelte package, then create an instance of it. Then we use the instance as a function that takes two arguments. The first is the custom event we want to send to the parent. The second, optional argument, is where we add any data we want to send with the event. For our example, we'll use the root app component as the parent and create a new component as the child. So, we'll create the components folder in the source directory. Inside it, we'll add a new file called mainmenu.svelte. We'll start in the script section and import curly braces create event dispatcher from Svelte. Then we'll create the instance. So, const dispatch create event dispatcher. What we want is to tell the parent to not show this menu when the user clicks on a close button. So we'll make the button close menu. And on click of this button, we want to dispatch an event. We'll call the event close. Okay, that's all we need to send an event. Let's go over to the root app component and bring in the main menu. So import main menu from components main menu svelte. We'll create a boolean called show menu and set it to true. We want to show the menu only if the boolean is true. For that, we'll need an if block. So if show menu is true, we show the main menu component. If we save and go to the browser, we can see the close button from the main menu component. If we click the button, nothing happens. That's because, even though the event has been dispatched, it hasn't been captured by the parent yet. Svelte doesn't auto-capture events in a parent component, the parent has to explicitly listen for it. To do that, we bind the event name with the on directive on the child components instance. As its value, we can specify any functionality we want to execute when the event triggers. Our event is called close, so we can do on close and then the code we want to execute when the event triggers. The component is only loaded if show menu is true. To close it, we just set show menu to false. If we go to the browser and click on the button, the component unloads, closing the menu. What happens is that when we click the button, it fires the dispatcher on the child and sends the close event to the root app component. The root app component is listening for the close event with the on directive. So, once it receives the event, it executes the code that sets show menu to false. We mentioned earlier that the dispatcher can accept a second argument that can contain any data we want to send with the event, like a string or an object. To demonstrate, let's send an object with the close event from the main menu component. We'll do const data make it an object and name John. Then we'll add data as the second argument in the dispatcher. To capture the data in the parent component, we'll need to use a handler function. That's because Svelte automatically gives us the JavaScript event object as the first argument to the function. We can then use that event object's detail property to access the data we sent through the event. For the demonstration, let's start by moving the toggle logic to a function. So, function, close menu, and we add the event parameter. Inside it, we'll set show menu to false. And, to keep the example simple, we'll access the data in an alert. So, we do alert, hello? Then event, dot detail, dot name. 
Finally, we just replace the arrow function in the close event with a reference to the new close menu function. If we go to the browser and click on the button, it'll close the menu and show the alert with the name we sent. Sometimes, we'll need to send an event past a parent component to a grandparent. Svelte allows us to forward the event by simply omitting the event's value in the parent. To demonstrate, let's create a component called middle. It will act as the component we're forwarding the event through. So, instead of importing main menu directly into the root app component, we'll import middle. We can press Ctrl and F2 to select all occurrences of main menu. Then, we just type middle. Now we want to instantiate main menu into middle. So, import main menu from main menu .svelte. Then we create the main menu instance with the close event. We're forwarding it up to the root app component, so we don't add a value. If we go to the browser and click on the button, the menu still closes. So, we managed to forward the event from main menu through middle up to the root app component. Alright, that concludes this lesson on component events in Svelte. In the next video, we'll learn how to use slots to embed content in a child component through its parent. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you again in the next one.